gives this woman to be married to this man? I do. Ready? Everybody may be seated. <laughs> Friends and family, we are gathered here together to celebrate one of life's greatest moments that is of marriage. On behalf of Dan and Rosie, we want to welcome you and thank you for all gathering here on this beautiful, perfect day to witness their marriage ceremony. I also want to give a special honor to all those that are not with us. They're honored on some of these chairs up in the front. But I also want to give special honor to Rosie's mom, Joy, who is no longer with us but her Bible is here. I'm holding it today. It was obvious that these two have a very special connection and bond. Their journey has been one that started 15 years ago and one that through the years has drawn closer and closer. And it's amazing to see the love that they share in times together. But understand that if you will make the Lord the center of everything you both do, everything will be okay. I thought it would be special to read a scripture that I love out of Rosie's mother's Bible. It's a verse in Romans chapter 8, verse 28. And it says this, And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> Rosie, I should have asked you this 15 years ago. Aww. And I finally asked you, you said yes. But I want everybody to hear it. Will you marry me? Well, I do. <laughs> Let's give him a hand. Now I want to ask my family. My friends and some very, very special people in my life that I work with and for to help keep us on the straight and narrow because we're on our voyage to live out our very own Hallmark romance. <laughs> I love Hallmark. <laughs> little Hallmark plug there, that was free. And at this time, we will have his lovely, soon-to-be wife, Rosie, share her vows. Yes, yeah, for one, I forgot my vows in the car, but I <laughs> Daniel R. Favreau, mm -hmm. I love you. I love you from the time we met here and how kind you are and that family is first, always. You love like nobody I know loves. When I'm having a bad day, you make it a better day. You inspire me to be a better person with you. And I love you forever. Say damn bro for me. That is what true love sounds like and looks like. So for the next few moments, Dan, I'm going to read a vow. And at the end of this, I need you to simply just say, I do when I come to an end. <laughs> <laughs> That's easy. We're not repeating yet. We're just, just saying it. All right, Dan, will you take Rosie? Why don't you grab her hand? Hi. Hi. <laughs> uh, Dan, will you take Rosie to be your wedded wife? Will you love and comfort her, honor and keep her, in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keeping yourself only unto her 
as long as you both shall live. I will. He said, I will. Rosie, it's your turn. Rosie, will you take Dan to be your wedded husband? Will you love and comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keeping yourself only unto him, as long as you both shall live? I do, but... <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, folks. <laughs> One trip a year. And commit before God and everyone else. Okay. He said, okay. All right. It's the perfect time to ask for everything Rosie that you have. Oh, that's a first. That was good. All right. So, Dan, this is the part where you're going to repeat after me. And you're just going to look at your lovely Rosie and speak to her as I tell you. I, Dan. I, Dan. Take you, Rosie, take you, Rosie, to be my wedded wife, to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold, to have and to hold, for better for worse, for better for worse, for richer for poorer, for richer. <laughs> we don't do poor. To love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, from this day forward. <laughs> All right. Well, there's always a first. <laughs> We won't let the state know that you said that. <laughs> All right, Rosie, repeat after me. I, Rosie, take you, Dan, to be my wedded husband, to have and to hold, for better, for worse, for rich and rich, to love and to cherish from this day forward. That's beautiful. We have a security person on hand, if you haven't noticed, wonderful little Declan. He's our ring bearer. Declan, if you can bring me those rings. I'm going to have you repeat after me, Dan. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love, as a symbol of my love, with this ring, with this ring, I thee wed. I thee wed. Rosie, come on. <laughs> it's getting real. <laughs> All right, Rosie, please place that ring on Dan's finger and repeat after me. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. With this ring, I thee wed. At this time, I'd like to pray a blessing over Dan and Rosie. And if you'll join me by bowing your head as I pray, will you pray a prayer over them, a blessing, we pray. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. This is the best part, because we're getting close, Dan. And as much as Dan and Rosie have consented together in wedlock and pledged their vows to each other, by the authority vested in me by the state of California, it is my happy privilege to announce you husband and wife. Dan, you may now kiss your wife. It is my happy privilege to introduce to family and friends, Mr. and Mrs. Daniel Arthur Bro. Let's go.
The food was fantastic. But what's not to like about mashed potatoes and a perfectly cooked tri-tip? But all was not well in marital paradise. Rosie made her escape with her friends on her trusty lawnmower. <laughs>